uh, Sean here, and I just got back, or not really, I didn't just get back, I got like back like an hour ago or so, but anyway, whatever, I got, I recently got back from watching um, the 210 showing um, of Why Him, my ticket is warped, if you can see, or smeared or whatever, because it was sitting in my pocket for like two hours, um, so yeah, I... I got back like an hour ago, but I was just trying to get my foot in the door and take a rest for a minute because I had to walk all the way to the theater and walk back and whatever. Um, anyway, <laughs> so let's get to the preliminaries. So Why Him is a 2006 American romantic comedy film directed by John Horm Hamburg, <laughs> Hamburg, written by Hamburg and Ian Helfer, I think, and stars James Franco, Brian Cranston, Zoe Deutsch, I think, um, Maggie, Ma Ma Megan Minnelli, I think, I don't know, I tend to butcher names a lot, Griffin Cluck, and Keegan Michael Key, the plot follows a dad who gets into a feud with, her daughter's, with his daughter's new boyfriend. Um, Apparently, this movie is receiving a mix to negative reviews from the critics, and I don't think it deserves it, honestly. I don't, but okay. Uh, this movie was actually produced, and also I'm going to say this. People have been comparing this to a movie such as Meet the Parents, and here's what's funny about it. Bruce, or not, bleh, Ben Stiller actually produced this movie. Ben Stiller is one of the producers on this film, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, this movie is about well, an hour and 50 minutes with a budget of $38 million and made back so far $18.9 million. Um, so what do I think of this movie? It's fucking awesome. I, I don't give a shit what the critics are saying. Um, I fucking thought this movie was spectacular. It's fucking hilarious. Franco and Cranston play off well. It played very well off each other. And yes, you could say that it's basically just a re uh, a retread of Meet the Parents. But you know what? I think this movie is actually, in in my opinion, this movie I think is a lot funnier than that movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy Meet the Parents, and someday I'll probably review it. But I think the movie's a lot funnier. Like I said. And out of the six movies I've seen with James Franco, uh, which is all three Spider-Man movies, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and Oz of Grand Marvel, this is probably the best I've seen him in a movie. And I know it's just me saying this, but you know what? My opinion, I'm excited to it, so yeah. So yeah, um, I thought Cranston was good too. Um, I haven't really seen him in that much movie, many movies, to be honest. The last movie I saw him in was the Total Recall remake. I haven't seen him in anything since. Um... But yeah, I thought all the actors did great. Um, very, very funny movie. <clears throat> and also, they do make um, um, kind of a reference because Kelly Kyoko is in this movie and plays Justine, the voice, basically Franco's Jarvis, if you will. You know, the artificial intelligence who essentially runs the house, sort of. So basically, Jarvis. <laughs> and she basically makes a reference to her show, um, Big Bang Theory in this movie. Which was like, okay, I'll buy it, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I really loved this movie, I thought it was a great film. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I might, I might put this over Deadpool on my list of best movies of the year. I, I don't know yet, because I really liked Deadpool, but actually, you know what? If my friend Parker can put Rogue One over Deadpool, and fuck it, I'm gonna put Why Him over Deadpool. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Um, so yeah. And plus, I actually thought this movie was a lot funnier, to be honest. I mean, I'm gonna have to think about it, probably, which is better, Deadpool or this. I'll probably think about it, but they're both great movies, I'm saying. I'll say that. They're both fucking awesome. I don't give two shits what the critics are saying about this movie, but Why Him, but I laugh my ass off. Oh, and fun show you guys. Um, I didn't notice it at first, but the the actress who plays Cranston's daughter, 
is actually the girl um, Maya from Sweet Life on Deck, who was Zach's girlfriend. I didn't notice that at first because she has blonde hair now, and she had was a brunette in the show. I didn't put that together at first. That's very cool. So yeah, um, yeah, I thought the acting was great. The the music that they used, like whether it's actual songs or score, which there wasn't really much of a score, I don't think. It was more like actual, if you like copyrighted music, I guess. If you like, I don't know what phrase to use, but but yeah, I thought the music choices they thought they put in was good. Um, there were a couple bits from the trailers that were cut out, which is you know standard with movies nowadays. But yeah, I thought this was a great movie. Um, for those of you who have not seen it, please go see it. You will laugh your ass off and hopefully have a good time with this movie. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.